It's time for one of my patent pending videos where I look at upcoming Transformers figures. It's probably not approved yet because I can't think of a good brand name for these at all. So I just call them Looking Forward. If you've got suggestions, I'd be happy to hear them. But first, your likes! Please go. And if you enjoyed this video by the end and you aren't subscribed already, please consider it. Also, I think I'm going to do the Patreon wheel at the end this time. That way, I don't have to fast forward through it and I can increase the suspense it draws. Let's start with the old thing that everyone's pissed about, but in the most sadistic way possible. Chrome Dome, but a Decepticon jet, is lame as hell. It's a retool of the interminably mid-legacy needle nose with a vastly worse aesthetic, and I'm not joking when I call this Chrome Dome, but a Decepticon jet, because one, I have no clue who this is, and I don't think anyone actually cares, and two, that is who I thought this was when I first saw it. Yes, I've heard of whoever this is supposed to be before. If you said the name, the spark of a recollection through a fog would go off in my brain. But when I saw this for the first time, my immediate reaction was, okay, did Chrome Dome get captured and brainwashed by the Decepticons in some lore or something? No two characters in this franchise should ever have these awful 70s ass colors. He also comes with terrible little guys, who I could not care less about, and are coated in silver paint, including on the pegs that they'll hold them by, so get ready for all that to rub off over time. They also didn't paint the bobs of those pegs very well. And then there's Prime Breakdown, and who oh boy. This being a retool of the very good Legacy Bulkhead makes this, as such now, the by far worst of the new Prime figures. It manages to make everything good about Bulkhead bad here. It is impressive just how skinny and fit Bulkhead felt and just how fat and dumpy this does. How do you do this? How do you take a figure that everyone was upset at for being too muscular to truly represent the character, then apply that to a character who was skinnier and more fit than said character, and have it make them look so out of shape and wrong? And the obscene level to which they were unwilling to change this outside of the head, which they fucked up as well by the way, is absurd. They weren't even willing to change his hammer from the one that came with a shitty camo repaint of Bulkhead, so you have to house his hand in Bulkhead's mace and then peg the hammer on top of that. This is one of those instances where I cannot believe that they are serious. Potentially all they needed to do to make this at least feel even a little justified is re-sculpt the cab, but they didn't even do that much. Seriously, just convert it into a conventional layout and people could probably forgive this. Also, what is that symbol on the side of his tarped section? And real quick, can we just talk about how they fucked up the head? I'll be honest, I only ever liked Knockout's head in the show, so I don't think this character's dome was sacrificed or something. But this, this is not how you improve that. One, why is it so wide? It's not supposed to be so horizontally stretched. Two, you made his cheeks so sallow, he looks like a skeleton. Three, his eyes feel off. But four, and most egregiously of all, if you were going to give a character who should not have a nose a nose, and honestly this design didn't need a nose, why did you give it such a tiny one? It is both microscopic and utterly attention grabbing. Congratulations idiots, you made an $80 set of figures that I think no one wants. Then there's 86 Blaster, and this is just disappointing. Kingdom Blaster is a really good figure, but but once again, it's not an 86 figure, and updating the paint does not change that. It's a good paint scheme, but the sculpting is just all wrong, and I already have a version of this figure, so I'm really unmotivated to get this. Even if this was on the same skeleton as the kingdom, I would have gladly bought this if they just changed the surface detail. I'm not asking a ton, just make it look like it's from the line that it comes from. Then there was the leak for Masterpiece Jinrai slash Power Master Optimus Prime. I know that there are some particular fans of mine who will be super happy about this, but I'm just gripped by the notion that hot off the heels of one of the worst combiners of all time, Masterpiece Raiden, comes Masterpiece Jinrai, who combines with his trailer much like Masterpiece Star Saber did, and I sincerely have to question whether or not Takara just sucks at making toys that have to combine with stuff. Also, do I see giant fucking waffling in the combined mode thighs? I cannot lie and say that I find this exciting or compelling in any way, but here's hoping that it's good for those crazy people among you all who like Jinrai. Then let's talk about another horrible thing. Because Hasbro is just having a bad time with their reveals right now. The I have no idea what this is called Garbo box set. How sad is it that the only thing that I even remotely want from this box is Squeeze Play, a bad looking Titans Return retool of a character who I constantly forget exists. Like this thing does not look good at all, but at least it looks interesting. Then you have Yellow Tarantulas who is based off his old box art colors and I suppose at least that's a good figure and a unique idea. But then you've got Bad Colors Legacy Tarn who supposedly represents the Cyberverse one, which I really don't see at all. And once again, they've not retooled the head in any way, just instead painting it wrong. And oh boy, you have no idea just how much I cannot wait to not buy this thing. Maybe if they fixed the shoulders, I could see myself getting it, and then just stealing that joint to put on the real version of this thing. But thanks to these shoulders, I already never think that this mold looks cool, and in these utterly incomprehensible colors, I can't help but feel like he's an eye-gouging fashion disaster. And then you've got Cliff Jumper out of the Legacy Chase mold. I have yet to do my review of the Legacy Chase, and it is the first of the Legacy United figures that I was actually able to get a hold of. The reason why I'm covering Wave 2 figures before I cover him is, Chase sucks. He has the worst, most uselessly designed shoulders of any modern figure that I have ever seen. They can rotate forwards and back, and they can go out to the side. And that's what they do. I do not know why they tried to reinvent the wheel with this joint, or why when they fucked up so badly they decided to stick with it, but you might as well call this the Bad Shoulders box set with what they've shoved into it. Prime fans be getting screwed right now. Then let's talk about, I don't know, the one thing I'm actually going to say is good in this video. Deluxe Insecticons Chop Shop and Barrage. 
What's that? They took the two bad legacy Insecticons and added extra transformation steps to them, so that way they were at least a little bit interesting? Well, sign me right the fuck up! While Barrage has some ugly, weird shoulder joints sticking out of his pecs there, with the mushroom pegs facing forwards, which was a choice, he overall has a more interesting, less stupid look than Bombshell, and I'm excited for the transformation step increase. And Chop Shop doesn't seem to be doing too much to separate himself from his counterpart Shrapnel, but at least he doesn't just look like a big bad Beetleborg morpher in alt mode without his legs. Alright, back to the shit. I guess they're doing a line of Rise of the Beast Scorponox, and I don't care. Though, why is Sandstorm the red one and Scorponox the sand-colored one? Then you've got the Star Seekers with Cannonball, a blatant retool of Red Alert. I like the deck of the alt mode, but I can't say that I'm excited for this given how many versions of this only okay mold I already have. Ferric, which apparently according to Market Hasbro is actually pronounced Farrock, got a horrible case of old man face, honestly looking a lot like Dr. Smith from Lost in Space. They've changed the alt mode a bit, which I appreciate, but man does the face make me not want this. Though I do prefer that this won't have you flip out the needle to form the front of the space jet mode. I need a tool for that every time I do it on the normal one, but at least this looks like a decent retool of the already excellent mold, unlike the Metal Hawk. Then there's Filch, and I was super excited for this one, and now seeing that it's yet another Kingdom Air Razor retool, I have completely lost interest. The Kingdom Air Razor mold is one that I have soured on deeply over time. It is a figure that poses very well, but has a shit tier transformation and a really bad alt mode. Plus, here they have absolutely botched the robot head, so it looks stupid goofy. And the beast head is for some reason too small so it doesn't fill out the chest like it's supposed to. Also, just love the gigantic CE they've printed on her wing. I will give them props though. I don't think that this is a mold that they should have retooled for something else ever again, and they did fuck up the sculpt, but they did re-sculpt it at all. She has new shins, she has new wings, she has new shoulders, she has a new beast head and a new backpack. They tried with this a lot harder than say they did with the breakdown. I just happened to think that the mold they used was never a good one. Also, I could have forgiven a lot if the robot head wasn't so goofy. Hell, I'll even give it this. If I didn't plan on keeping the Air Razor for just what it means being part of the Kingdom toy line, I'd be way more interested in owning Filch over her. Though it is way too small. Filch is a giant girl, and this is a tiny deluxe. Then we're getting a lockdown retooled out of specifically axle grease instead of scrap hook, and it looks like him, though I think the head is kind of underdetailed. Like his eyes are just red pits in his skull, and I can barely make out the details of his face. Plus, while I think what they were going for is making his torso look like it had MF Doom's mask on it or something with the paint job, all I can see is him wearing a bustier. Maybe it was a bad idea to retool this character out of a girl, I don't know. At the very least, they could have just used scrap hook's chest. And I feel like there's not enough color on the alt mode toward the front. It's kind of like him, though I wonder if animated fans will be happy with this at all. Then we are finally getting images of Sideburn. And really, this is what we gave up a good Shadow Striker to get. This fucking ugly sin of a thing. It looks like a one-episode Power Rangers side character, the robot traffic officer who helps the Rangers defeat a single enemy with the power of parking tickets. It looks so much like the character while looking literally nothing like him at all. And then the alt mode is a joke. Where are the flames? This looks even less like a Dodge Viper than I anticipated, and they didn't even do the one part that they couldn't be sued over correctly. Dude's whole character was based on his garish fire effects, and you left that part off, you lazy bastards. You ruined the figure of the character that we all wanted to make a pre-tool of a character that no one wanted, and then you fucked that up too. Then there's a Legends Class Bumblebee movie Starscream, who looks pretty good, and seems like he will have a decent transformation. But he also has a bad case of old man face. Though this time it looks like he didn't put his dentures in. Lastly, we have what we have been waiting for for so long. 86 Swoop. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is fucking ruined. What fucking moron do you have working in the sculpting department? And why do you have them working on every single figure? Why are all of these sculpts so fucking borked? You idiots! Swoop was a narrow character! Why have you made him so fucking wide? Here, let me do your damn work for you and show you how easy this would be to fix! For starters, get rid of the Frankenstein shoes. What is up with the platforms he's wearing? Two, fix his fucking 80 sickness face. You've given him a real unga bunga look here, or again, very Frankenstein or Easter Island head. That's largely thanks to the width and the puffy lips, but it's also due to the fact that you've given him pronounced cheekbones when he didn't have them, and I can't believe I'm using this word twice in one video, Swoop is supposed to have very sallow cheeks, not strong cheekbones. So, even that out, narrow the face up, and then just squash the whole thing left to right. Well, squash the chest, the hips, and the legs left to right. The arms are honestly too skinny for the body as it is. And then boom, suddenly it looks like fucking Swoop. I am beside myself, you idiots. How did you spend this long? cooking this damn thing three goddamn years and you fucked up this profoundly on something so easy to fix how did none of you look at this big ticket item capping off one of the most important teams you've done in decades and not gone no that looks wrong you have a wealth of references at your disposal and you still ruin this i did the bare minimum to fix this as little as i could possibly get away with so that way i could prove my point and as a result it looks so much better and we didn't even get into the alt mode which looks awful too he's too deep front to back and hey guys that's not what his head is supposed to look like amazing you get sludges and snarls heads right and then swoop doesn't even look like him this was going to be the best team of Dinobots anyone put out of all time, and you fucking snapped your necks in the bathroom and drowned yourselves in a toilet full of your own shit at the last possible second. <sighs> well, that was a load of shit. 
I am pissed that so much of this stuff looks so bad, all for very stupid reasons. As harsh a critic as I am, I always want Hasbro to succeed. I do not want them to make bad stuff. But this is just absurd. A load of shit that either no one wants, they didn't put any effort into, or shit that just got handed off to the wrong person and they botched it despite all their best efforts. Fix Swoop. Dear God, please just fix it. It's wrong. Anyways, before we go, let's pick a patron. Congratulations to Cybercat, and her favorite figure of all time is Siege Skyfire. Top tier taste, my child. Siege Skyfire rocks like little else in this world. The first and still the greatest of all the commander classes, taking the design and making it look cooler without losing the spirit of the character. It's big, it's fun, it's got the gimmicks and the transformation and an alt mode that makes me want to throw up the devil's horns. Siege Skyfire's fucking metal as fuck, dude, and I will fight anyone who dares impugn it otherwise. And that's not half what I have to say, but it's enough of what I have to say. And I know, you know, what everyone else tells you to do at the end of these videos. So, if you liked what you saw here, please do that. And if you'd like to take it a step further, then please, share this video with any friend you think may be interested. I hope you all enjoyed listening to me waste your time.